Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kidlit Joy, and today I'm here to review Is My Phone Reading My Mind? The Real Facts About Artificial Intelligence by Dr. Matt Agnew. This is a non-fiction title for mid to upper middle grade readers and older that explores the history and the significance of artificial intelligence and sort of where we're headed in the future. I did receive this from Ellen and Unwin for review, so thank you very much to them. And I want to read you just a little bit of the blurb on the back. It says, when you think of artificial intelligence, you might imagine a walking, talking robot, or you might think of a giant computer that wants to take over the world. But the reality is that AI is a brilliant human invention found in nearly every modern device from our computers to our cars. Working out where we use AI and why is an important part of making the best of this exciting technology. And I think it, this is a really interesting one because it does help to reframe sort of your thinking about AI and artificial intelligence in general, because there are so many different ways that we have been using AI for years and years <laughs> that you probably don't even consider artificial intelligence. And what I loved so much about this book, one, it's very easy to read. It's a great book to read. The writing style is fantastic. I have read Matt Agnew's work before. He is an Australian scientist. He has worked in a couple of different fields, including most recently in artificial intelligence. And he has a great way of explaining things in a really simple and easy to understand way that's also really compelling. And he also makes it relatable to kids. So it's very relatable to everything that is going on currently. And it starts off with a history of what artificial intelligence is. We also have to define what artificial intelligence even means and what that looks like and how it's evolved over time. And then we also explore the ethics of artificial intelligence through here and why, yes, it can be used for negative purposes, but how artificial intelligence is really something that we are currently in charge of and we have to learn how to manage that and how to not create implicit biases in artificial intelligence moving forward because we have done that in the past. So it's a really interesting read because it's a bit of part history, it is part science, it is very much about the moral ethics of using artificial intelligence and why it can be really tricky and why we have to be so careful about using it, but also about the exciting possibilities that are available that can actually assist people with things and why we need to also think those things through because they do have implications for people further down the track. So it's a really, really interesting read. And as someone who has spent a lot of time thinking about artificial intelligence, how it impacts schooling and how it also impacts creative fields, because it, ha it can have quite a negative impact on creative fields as well, which creative fields like artists and, and authors and things like that, there still needs to be context around it because, you know, we have been using artificial intelligence for years and perhaps we just don't think about it and we really do need to. Like it's just something that we need to be aware of and we need to think through and to be mindful of and to consider the implications of. So I, I found it really great and really interesting to read. And I certainly have some things that I now want to go and read more about, which is always, always a highlight of a children's nonfiction book where you get enough information, but also, you know, are inspired to read more. I also really liked the layout of it. It's really easy to read. Key vocabulary is highlighted. You have extra boxes with additional information that supports the main text. Lots of diagrams that can help. Definitions for really important key terms that you need to understand in order to understand the rest of what the text is saying. So it's broken down in a great way. And at the start of the book, there is a breakdown of how each page is laid out and how you can follow and find the information that you need. So yes, I really enjoyed this one. I am continuing to enjoy Matt Agnew's children's nonfiction work because it is really interesting and very engaging. And I think it's a great way to dip your toe into an area that you maybe don't have all that much knowledge on. So thank you again to the publisher for sending me the review title. I will leave links to where you can find out more information about the book and the author down below. If you've read the book or if you have read similar titles, feel free to leave recommendations down below. Otherwise, feel free to leave any kind of technology emoji to let me know that you're here. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everyone.